high pixelated friends. If you're living the RV life, chances are good lattes are hard to come by. But I'm going to show you how to make one today. The machine I use is the Barista Express from Breville. It's the 870XL. Uh, this is, as it's titled, an espresso machine, not a coffee machine. Uh, the great things about this is going to be pulling a shot and making anything like a latte, an affogato, uh, single shot, double shot, uh, basically espresso. The things to keep in note are the difference between coffee and espresso. Coffee is going to be something that comes through a normal drip system. You have a coarse or less coarse grind. You're putting into a filter. You're putting water through a hot water. You get a full cup of coffee. You get a good amount of caffeine, but lower flavor, depending. With espresso, you're doing a coarser grind. A smaller amount of beans are used. The exact same type of beans, but you actually press them and make them tighter. So when the water goes through them, you get a higher caffeine count per volume. So you get about the same as a cup of coffee in a full espresso, but you can add more flavor to it. You can do what you want to for it to make it taste good. Now with the type of bean you use, it's really personal preference. I stay away from the coaty, the waxy, kind of like coated beans, the darker roasts, like how they get stuck up in the grinder. But when you'll, you'll ask, what's the difference between an espresso and a coffee bean? There's really no difference. It all comes down to the roaster labeling it, uh, an espresso blend where they say, this is great for an espresso. Um, typically they're right, it usually is. But um, again, it comes strictly down to your preference. This is the machine. Uh, on top you have a grinder, you put your beans in there, uh, you set your grind amount with a little dial right here on the side you can change how coarse it goes. You have your basic power button, um, nice little magnetic thing, Breville is great with this kind of stuff. You've got your tamper, tamping tool, uh, you've got your portafilter. Uh, with the portafilter uh, this also comes with four different size baskets so you've got for dual wall single wall dual wall is going to be if you have pre-ground coffee don't use that though you've got a great grinder here uh, or single wall or, or one single shot double shot you've got a basket that catches everything just clean this out it gets filled with water you've got your where you actually grind the beans here you've got uh, your sing, your double shot espresso when it is all set your single shot you've got a steam wand and then on the other side of this, you also have a hot water valve if you want to make uh, Americanos, something like that. So I'm going to actually show you how to go through each one of these. So before you start making an espresso shot, uh, several things to make sure of. First, make sure you have water in your actual tank back here. There's a max line, min line. I actually filter the water that goes into this, but in this, it also has its own filter. So you actually change this out every couple of months. The Breville also comes with a stainless steel milk jug. Uh, I've upgraded mine to one that actually includes a thermometer. I think the temperature of your, your froth when you're frothing milk is extremely important. So you can also use just a basic little kitchen thermometer. That works as well. Um, depending on what kind of milk you want to use, go ahead and get that set up in your frother. I use just basic vitamin D whole milk. So let's go ahead and make a shot. When you turn the machine on, you're gonna hear that little noise right there. It's gonna start actually pulling water from your reservoir and heating it up. So this is a single boiler machine. You're gonna see other Breville's out there that cost about double this, maybe a little more. Those are dual boiler. The only difference between single and dual boiler is that this can only use one of the hot functions at a time. So it can either make an espresso shot or froth milk. The dual boilers can froth milk and make the espresso shot at the exact same time. Uh, typically it doesn't impact your your drink that much. Uh, you can usually get them both made pretty quick. So let's go ahead and grind it. I'm going to take the porta filter. I've got the dual uh, double shot size set up. I've already got my filter size set to double on the actual machine and I'm just going to push this in once. And there you have it. You've got your, your espresso all ground up. So now we're going to go tamp it. So to tamp it, what we're doing is we're going to actually just push down this these espresso beans 
and try and get it so we have good pressure coming through when we actually start to put water in. It comes with a little razor that helps you sift this all off, strain it out. You can also just use your hands if you're making it for yourself. Now when you push this tamping tool in, you're going to see that it fits perfectly inside of this circle, but you're going to want to push about 30 pounds of pressure. How you do that, you can get these little edges off the sides. You don't want to do this too many times. Just get it on there once and that's good. And just get the little edges off so they don't make a mess later. Since we're going to be making a latte, I'm going to add some flavor to this. Totally up to you if you want to do that or not. Uh, plain ones taste just as good as well. I'm going to go with a lavender. So, I like just one pump in it. So I've got my single shot uh, flavor. I'm putting this in the bottom of the cup. We're actually gonna shoot the espresso directly into this cup. So the next thing we're gonna do is grab the port of filter and underneath the machine is this little locking system here. If you just put it in like this direction and angle it to the right, it's actually gonna lock into place. Be nice and firm. And then we're just gonna throw the cup under here and actually pull the shot directly. So if we did it correctly, we should have a nice crema. Which if you can see that there. Look diff uh, drastically different from normal coffee. And looks perfect. Now we've still got the portafilter installed, so let's go ahead and unplug that. It's gonna have a couple drips here. Usually catch those with your hands. I have a boot, a little basket here that I like to dump these into. Simply hit it once. We'll come back and clean this in a bit. Uh, now we're going to move on to the froth. Before we start frothing, since we just barely used the espresso maker, I'm actually going to run an empty shot just to get some of these grounds out so they don't fall down into our... You can push the button again to stop it early, and then I just take a rag and wipe out the inside. You'll see a little bit of coffee grounds on there. So now we're going to move into frothing. On the side of the machine is a little dial. You can set it to the left to turn on your steam wand. You can set it to the right to just get hot water to come out of one of these little holes right here. We're going to, of course, turn on the wand. Just turn it on. It's going to start steaming. Let it get to the point where it's a good steam. Okay, that looks good to start our, our initial froth. Now, frothing milk, is you need a whole course on just that alone to get exactly how to do the froth you want for your latte. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to froth. I'm going to start with the top of this, the top little layer. And what I'm doing is I'm putting milk froth in it. So I'm getting just the top of the milk froth. I want to increase the volume of this by about 20%. So the milk that's in there, let's increase the size of it. Get some air in there. Now that that's done, I'm gonna set this here. We have a thermometer on the front of this, like I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna wait till this gets to 150. We don't want the milk to burn. We're gonna to go to 150 because 150 is perfect. So I'll let that go for a bit. You can see it's starting to get a nice paint texture. You can move the wand around a bit, you can angle that around a bit to make it so it doesn't go too frothy. We're still not at our temperature. Now we're there. Okay, so now we're going to pull this out. You're going to notice that you've got a ton of milk still on the wand. I like to take the water from the hot water, that's basically for an Americano, and spray your rag with that. So now you've got a hot water on the rag. If you immediately go and turn on the frother, like you'll see on other, you know, high-end machines, you're going to immediately melt this froth right to the wand. So if we get hot water on it first, we can wipe it right off. You're going to want to clean this wand every time once you've used it, because it'll start to get stuck in there. 
Uh, next, just run the wand for a sec on the frothing thing. You'll see some milk coming out of it. It's exactly the way you want to run it. All right, well, we're good to go. So now just take your froth, hammer it down a little bit and you'll swirl it around. You'll start to get the bubbles out of it and you'll notice that it's gonna look more like a, a nice paint instead of a milk. Um, when you go to pour it in, entirely up to you how you wanna do this. Wait to rotate it around a little bit. And if you wanna do a fun design, you can do that too, of course. And now you've got yourself your first latte. Perfect for RV. With your leftover froth, if you have any, one extremely important thing to remember. Don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested in a machine like the one I went over today, I've added the link in the description.